Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We have a really fun 3D text design effect today, and this was created by Alessandro Boncio, and I'm going to walk you through it. So we have a piece of text. You can probably use whatever you want, but it's a big fatty piece of text without much um, subdivision on it. So we're gonna, first of all, put it into the remesh. So we'll uh, add a remesh, put the text inside of it. In that remesh under the mesh density, we can crank that up probably to maybe 400 or 450. We're gonna get some extra subdivision in this text. And we're going to now use the Voronoi Fracture to fracture it into bits. So the Voronoi Fracture is right here. Make sure you don't use the Fracture, but use the Voronoi Fracture. Take the remesh and put it inside of there. So these cuts are being um, cut. If we go to the Voronoi Fracture, they're being cut based on this source tab, this point generator right here. So if you increase the points, you can make more uh, cuts and little chunks, but we don't want it to be driven by a point generator. We want to customize that. So first of all, we're going to go to the object and let's offset these fragments a little bit. So we have some nice little cuts in here and let's invert it. All right, so we have this inverted thing, but we also want some geometry behind here, not just these edges. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a matrix object. So here's our matrix. And in the matrix, we will switch it from grid mode to object mode. And in the object tab right here, let's put our remesh. And that way it's gonna put a matrix object on the surface of our text. And if we look at the count here, we can increase the amount that we have on our text, but it is being kind of cloned right onto the surface here. All right, now we need to go into this Voronoi Fracture and tell it that we want the matrix object to be determining where the cuts are on this text. So we can do that by going to the sources and let's delete this point generator and let's drag in the matrix object right here. All right, so now the matrix object is driving where the cuts are happening on this text. And now if we go back to object, if we click invert, we're gonna start to get that really cool text effect that we're looking for. Let me hide these uh, matrix objects just so we don't see them in the viewport. And now to uh, define how many cuts and to have this animate on, we just go to that matrix and we use the count slider right here. So we can set this way down and then we can have it animate on and they'll kind of flicker all these pieces on here and it'll grow into that really nice text effect. If you want these different edges to be thinner, just go to your Voronoi Fracture and that would be the offset fragments. If you just bring this down a little bit, it'll make those edges a little bit thinner for you. And you can just uh, do some art direction on the look that you're wanting. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.